What's up everybody? It's Alex here from Backyard Sprouts and we've been getting a lot of questions around pricing lately so that's what I'm going to be walking you through in today's video coming up next. All right, everyone, so we have seen a lot of questions coming through lately on how to price out your microgreens, right? Especially you guys getting started, it can be tough. RJ and I actually struggled a lot with this ourselves. We did a lot of research looking at other growers and, supp and suppliers trying to see what they charge, and it was really difficult to find. We found a few in the area, and then we ended up actually having to look at other cities outside of Charlotte to see what they were charging too. And to be honest, it was all over the board. So we decided to just take a practical approach and look at what our costs were and then go from there. So when you're looking at how to figure out your pricing, you need to really make a list of all of the inputs that go into growing. So you're gonna have dirt and seeds, trays, your utility costs, right? Your water, electricity, cause you're gonna be running fans and lights and then labor, gas costs for delivery, as well as containers and labels if you're gonna be doing things um, in multiple containers, right? So I would highly recommend setting up a spreadsheet. That way you can break down your inputs and then the costs for those. All right, so let's walk through an example. Now these numbers are not real. I just made them up to make it easy so you guys can follow along very simply, okay? So let's say you're gonna grow microgreen one. We'll just call it that. The seed is $10 a pound and you need four ounces per tray. So your seed cost per tray is 250. Let's say the dirt cost per tray is a dollar and then clamshells and labels cost 25 cents. And then all other utilities and inputs are $2, right? So this might be a little low, but it'll be easy to follow along. So your dirt per tray is a dollar, your seeds are 250, your clamshell cost is 25 cents, and your utility cost is $2. So your cost per tray is $5.75. Let's say that that tray, okay, for 5.75 now yields 10 ounces of product. Sorry, 12 ounces of product, all right? So 48 cents an ounce. So now you need to figure out what you wanna charge up and above that. Your 48 cents per ounce cost is your basic cost to grow. That's not including any profit for you. We have seen all over the board, people have charged, we have seen like 10 to 20 times their pricing, right? Maybe you do three to four times your pricing. You would want to discount as you go up in sizes, right? If someone buys a pound for you, that should be a little cheaper per ounce, in our opinion, than if someone's buying half a pound or even four ounces from you because you're still having to grow a whole tray or do just as much work, but they're buying less product. So our per ounce cost decreases as we go up in the size that someone's purchasing. So we have cost per ounce for two ounce, four ounce, half a pound, and a pound. And if you were to divide them out, the pound would have the cheapest per ounce cost. So what you need to do is figure out what kind of profit margins you're gonna need to keep your operation running. And then you can either work backwards to determine how much you need to increase the cost per micro, or you just do some basic math, taking your per ounce cost and multiplying it by five, six, seven, or 10 times and figure out if that's enough for you to be running your business. Okay, so for inputs, one that can get kind of tricky is soil. So I'm just gonna walk you through that example so you have an idea of how you can work it out. So dirt usually comes, I believe, in like quarts when you're buying it. So what you need to do is figure out your cost per bag of dirt, and then you need to figure out basically how many ounces you're using per tray. So if you have a measurement a bucket or something that's measuring in quarts, you'll just have to do a quick conversion to ounces and then figure out how many trays you can fill per bag. So you might fill eight trays per bag of dirt. You need to figure out your cost there then by breaking down the ounces you're using each tray and your per ounce cost from that bag. And that'll help you determine the cost of the dirt you're using in each tray. The same principle can be applied to labels. If your labels are <clears throat> a certain, you know, a few inches and you have a few feet of label printing, right? You need to figure out how long each label is and kind of break down and get an estimated cost of how many cents each label is costing you to print. I know that this can seem really tedious, but it's really important to make sure that you include all of your costs in your pricing, because if not, you're gonna be losing money. So take the time to break it out. There's a lot of sheets out there that are really useful and you can YouTube a lot of different ways to do some different conversions, but Excel has some really simple formulas that'll help convert some of those things to other numbers and make those calculations easier for you. 
If you enjoyed that video and found it helpful, please hit that like and subscribe button. It helps the YouTube algorithm promote our videos to other entrepreneurs like you. It also helps encourage us knowing that we're putting out good content that you guys enjoy and find helpful. We'll see you Sprouts next time.